what's up y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to make this really easy baked ziti and i'm kind of going to put my own spin on it um it, it looks like a lot of ingredients but but it's really not um, just your basic stuff um you can also modify this the full recipe is in the description box um so yeah if you don't want to use tomato sauce you can do a uh, spaghetti sauce for this and also i'll be putting in some sausage uh, you don't have to do that. You can do Italian sausage or you can do two pounds of ground beef or you can do no meat at all. But I mean, it's basically like making a uh, lasagna, but it's really super easy. And just check that description box for everything you need for this recipe. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. First thing you want to do is brown your meat. And once it's a little bit brown, not all the way brown just partially brown i'm gonna go ahead and throw in my onions I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper as I always say I always season every layer of my dish now I'm gonna add in my minced garlic and this just came right out of a jar a uh, fresh would probably be better but I don't I mean I don't think it matters um, but I waited kind of till the till the meat was almost brown because sometimes if you um, overcook garlic, it has a bitter taste, and I didn't want that. So that's why I kind of put it at the end. I'm also going to go ahead and brown my sausage in a different skillet, um, and I just browned it to my liking. Again, you do not have to put sausage in this dish. I just really love sausage. I put it literally in every casserole. I put it in spaghetti, just everything. I like sausage. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I totally forgot to drain my meat, okay? The dish still turned out amazing. It came out so good, but y'all drain, drain your meat, okay? You don't want all that fat in your dish. Now I'm gonna add my two, well, two cans of tomato sauce, or you could do spaghetti sauce. If you do spaghetti sauce, um, uh, change up your seasonings because spaghetti sauce is already seasoned and then, you know, tomato sauce is, is pretty bland. So I'm gonna season this pretty heavily. And I'm also gonna add in, this was a can of whole plum tomatoes that I diced up. Um, so that's what this is. You can use uh, Rotel tomatoes if you want to, or you can just omit this step. Whatever, just, you know, make it your own. I'm gonna stir this up um, and then I'm going to add in my seasons. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of Italian season seasoning and this is pretty much just basil, oregano, and sage. So if you don't have Italian seasoning as it's listed, just throw in some oregano, basil, and sage and you're good to go i'm also going to be adding some salt pepper and a little bit of garlic salt all right i'm gonna leave this simmering for about 20 minutes to let all those spices and herbs kind of mix together and you know get nice and tasty so while that's doing its thing i'm going to prepare my noodles you want to just follow your package instructions and cook these just under uh, al dente so you want them a little bit firm because they're going in the oven and you don't want them to be mushy so now i'm going to prepare my cheese mixture so we're going to do about two cups of mozzarella and about a cup my, my camera stopped recording here, but I added about a cup of 
Italian blend cheese um, and some parsley and salt and pepper. Uh, you don't have to use the Italian cheese. Um, I just like that. You can use all mozzarella if you want. I'm also going to be adding in half of this 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. I'm not a huge fan of ricotta, but if you love ricotta cheese, add the whole container. So because I'm not a fan of ricotta, I'm just going to add half of a 15 ounce container and then about a fourth of a cup of cottage cheese instead. So yeah, if you like ricotta, add the whole thing, skip the cottage cheese. If, if you don't, do half the ricotta and about a fourth cup cottage cheese. But again, the full recipe is in the description box. Now we're gonna add two eggs. This is gonna be our binder. This is what's gonna kinda mix everything together and get it nice and smooth. You don't wanna over mix though. You know, just do it where it's well combined, but not a mushy mess. So now I have my noodles, they have been drained and I rinsed them under cool water to stop the cooking process because like I said, I do not like mushy noodles and this is going in the oven where the noodles will finish cooking. So I'm gonna add my cheese mi mixture to the noodles and I'm gonna toss it um, until the noodles are pretty well coated. I forgot to tell y'all earlier in the video, I set aside about three cups of my meat sauce um, and allow that to cool and I'm gonna pour that into the, the noodle mi mixture. It's about three cups. Um, I'm gonna make sure that this is mixed pretty good, you know, where all the noodles are pretty coated. Um, and now it is time to build our dish. So first thing I'm gonna do is put some of my meat mixture, probably about a a cup or so at the, the bottom of my dish. I just kind of ladled some um, in the dish. Then I'm gonna pour half of my noodle mixture on top of the meat sauce. Once I do that, I'm gonna add half of my remaining meat mix mixture on top of the noodles. So we're basically layering this just like we would a lasagna. Once I get my meat sauce on there, I'm gonna sprinkle some mozzarella cheese um, on top of the meat mixture, and then we're gonna layer it again. Uh, noodle, noodle, remaining meat, and then top with mozzarella cheese. So you're just gonna keep layering it. Also, I'm using a nine by 13 inch dish. So you're gonna need a large dish if you're following this recipe to the T. This makes a big batch. going to sprinkle a little um, parsley over the top. This is really more so for decoration purposes. Um, 
yeah that that's it guys oh i'm also going going to loosely wrap some um foil on top and uh i'm leaving some space at the top so that the cheese doesn't stick to my foil you can also spray the foil with some um non-stick cooking spray to keep it from sticking and i'm going to put this in the oven on 375 for 20 minutes and this is the finished dish y'all this was so good my kids loved it my husband loved it um, my nine-year-old said it's basically like spaghetti and lasagna had a baby that's that's what this dish is it is really really good and let me know if you try this recipe thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe until next time peace